Keratitis means inflammation of the cornea. It can be superficial or interstitial or deep keratitis. Corneal ulcers means that there is a loss of the epithelium together with inflammation of the superficial layers which may go deep to the whole layers up to perforation of the cornea. On the other hand, the word abrasion means there is loss of the epithelium but the Bowman's membrane is intact. What is the difference? When the Bowman's membrane is intact, there is no opacity. On the other hand, in case of an ulcer, there is a distraction of the Bowman's membrane and this will leave an opacity behind. So abrasion simply loss of epithelium Ulcer is loss of epithelium plus infection with following up by an opacity. This is a picture of a loss of an area of the epithelium here. It's very painful with photophobia lacrimation, but it leaves no opacity. Another example here. So what is the etiology of a corneal ulcer? A microbial corneal ulcer all organisms need a predisposing factor to get into the cornea except gonococci and diphtheria. They can invade intact epithelium, destroy it and get access into the tissues. So the predisposing factors can be in form of abrasion, decreased sensation or loss sensation, vitamin E deficiency, dry eye, exposure, dryness. The sort of organisms coming from the surrounding. Corneal ulcer starts by infiltration, then loss of tissues. We have an ulcer. It can be unclean stage with organism in the area with a heavy infiltration and edema. If the patient is going to heal, then the infiltration is less and less and the organism is taken over. Healing will be in the form of epithelial cells will start to slide to cover the area, keratocytes will start to lay some fibrous tissue, and gradually the basal form of cells here will start to undergo mitosis into cis layers and the fibrous tissue will gradually be more and more. So in the early stages there is a depression but gradually this defect will be covered and the surface will come to its natural position. What are the signs and symptoms? The patient will complain of bricky pain that is watery of the eye, we call it lacrimation, and there is photophobia and blepharospasm. Photophobia means fear of light, blepharospasm means a spasm of the blepharon, the lid margin. Because of the pain, the patient does not want to face the light and he starts to squeeze to, to minimize the sensation of pain. To examine the patient, you need to apply local anesthesia so you can open the eye. Then you will see redness around the limbus. This is a ciliary injection. In this slide here, this is what's meant by ciliary injection. And this is conjunctival injection. And here in this sector, both ciliary and conjunctival. Conjunctival vessels, you can see individual vessels. It's dark red. In ciliary injection, it is this hue of pinkish discoloration and we don't see individual vessels. These individual vessels here are the normal conjunctival vessels in the area. But in between the normal vessels, this hue is the ciliary injection. To understand this, ciliary injection is due to dilatation of these vessels inside the sclera. This is the cornea, this is the sclera, ciliary body iris, and we got some vessels penetrating to reach to the inside here. So dilatation of these vessels will result in the ciliary injection. As these vessels are not on the surface, 
so we don't see individual vessels and because there is some tissue covering these vessels the color is light another sign is opacity here you get some infiltration and edema in this part then there is loss of luster loss of luster means there is uh, this is the normal where you get a luster on the surface of the cornea this luster is due to reflection of light at the interface between the tear film and the epithelium if the tear film is not there or if the epithelium is not there then there will be loss of luster pupil is meiotic then we can use fluorescein stain to delineate the amount of loss of epithelium fluorescein is a dye supplied in a form of paper we wet it and we put it into the lower fornix then the fluorescein will stain the tears if there is area of defect of epithelium the fluorescein will get inside and mix with the stroma to see it clearly we can use the blue light then the area of defect will be more apparent so the signs and symptoms of a corneal ulcer is brachy pain lacrimation photophobia blephospasm ciliary injection infiltration loss of lasso meiosis and positive fluorescein stain in this example you see the curvature of the cornea is flattened here because there is loss of tissue so this is the area of ulcer if you put stain it will take stain and this is the area of infiltration the base and the surrounding of the ulcer another example this area of the cornea is heavily infiltrated this is the area with loss of epithelium and the base is heavily infiltrated and the eye is red 